guilty as sin, Obama's FBI director Comey tries to save his own skin with huge admission. A breaking report shows former FBI director James Comey is trying to save his own skin with a huge admission that is going to leave him completely friendless in the savage landscape of Washington, D.C. Now that Comey knows his only hope of remaining a free man rests at the mercy of President Donald Trump, he's singing like a canary, and Barack Obama has to be furious, as well as concerned about his own hide. According to a Circa News exclusive, Comey has been whispering in the dark to members of Congress about not only his first meeting with former Attorney General Loretta Lynch but also has divulged a damning revelation about how the Lynch tried to shut him up and kill the FBI's investigation into Hillary Clinton's illegal email server during the election. The implications of Comey's shocking confession are highly volatile as it carries with it the real prospect of severe consequences for himself and former Obama administration officials. The details of what Comey says Lynch did are enough to make your blood boil. In the video of his most recent testimony during an open hearing before Congress, Comey admits that Lynch tried to get him to refer to the Clinton investigation as a matter to lessen the damage to Hillary's already failing presidential campaign. This is just the half of it as the shocking admission Comey allegedly made to members of Congress in private are startling and disturbing for any American who values the integrity of our democratic government. Here's the worst of it. According to the Gateway Pundit, Comey recently admitted to certain members of Congress that he confronted Lynch a second time about her interference in the FBI's investigation on behalf of Barack Obama for the benefit of Hillary Clinton. Comey reportedly presented Lynch with a sensitive document, which she did not know the FBI possessed, according to sources who were directly informed on the matter. Comey told lawmakers that this sensitive document was hard evidence of a conversation between two political figures that suggested Lynch had agreed to kill any prosecution of Hillary Clinton in order to help her win the presidential election. How much more corrupt could Barack Obama's administration have been? According to Circa, Comey said the attorney general looked at the document then looked up with a steely silence that lasted for some time, then asked him if he had any other business with her and if not that he should leave her office, said one source who was informed of the situation. Comey's failure to bring this damning evidence to Congress during the election is a crime in and of itself. Now, Comey's shocking admission, which is obviously an attempt to save his own skin, has provoked demands from both sides of the aisle for the Senate Judiciary Committee to investigate Lynch. The chips are falling and even some liberals with half a brain are starting to see it's time to jump ship and admit the truth. The ultra-liberal senator from California, Dianne Feinstein, DCA, is one of the first to realize the gig is up. On Sunday, June 11, 2017, Feinstein told CNN's Brianna Keeler that Congress needs to investigate Comey's claims that Lynch tried to pressure him to cover for Hillary Clinton. I think we need to know more about that, Feinstein said. And there's only one way to know about it, and that's to have the Judiciary Committee take a look at that, she added. Comey's disturbing confession has caused pandemonium all over Washington, D.C., as most liberals are seen scrambling to divert attention away from Obama. Lynch, and the ex-FBI director by ramping up their monotonous Russian conspiracy accusations against President Donald Trump. Without missing a beat, Trump addressed Comey's revelation on Twitter by saying, A.G. Lynch made law enforcement decisions for political purposes. Gave Hillary Clinton a free pass and protection. Totally illegal. Now, what will happen in the weeks to come is crucial as American patriots look to the Trump administration and the honest members of Congress to prove that we are a nation of laws. There is a basic principle at work here, lawbreakers, regardless of their political status or wealth, need to be prosecuted. There is now a public expectation that Obama, Lynch, Clinton, and Comey pay the price for their crimes. If this expectation is not satisfied, our legal system will be proven to be devoid of any integrity and needs to be torn down and rebuilt.